I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This is a great exercise if you're new to the game or if you get a new card, whether it be the National Mahjong League card or a card from the American Mahjong Association, Next Generation, Marvelous Mahjong. This is a great exercise. All the Charleston modeling exercises are an excellent way to ramp up If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to roll these dice to see if we're dealer or non-dealer. I rolled a four. That means we're going to be in north seat. So we are non-dealer. I will get 13 tiles. Mock Charleston, no jokers. Here, we have jokers. So let's see what we can play here. We've got three multiples plus even a pair of flowers. So technically that's another multiple here. But we can use this regardless of whatever we play. So I typically don't count that because it's so interchangeable. We really have to make a decision with either the pair of twos or the six nine. And really, we should probably play three six nine. We even have a six nine. So I would get rid of the twos, but that is not going in the pass. I will not pass a pair. We have to pick a hand right now. So the hands that use flowers under three six nine, we have three choices. We have the fourth hand down, pair of flowers, and then Kongs of threes, sixes, and nines. There's a one suit option and a mixed suit option. Here we have a pair of sixes and nines, so I think we could probably give those up and maybe use these for the gap with the three dot and play three, six, nine Kongs, fourth hand down. So we could pass these, no problem. I think that is clearly the way to go here. We could also play the hand with dragons. That's a concealed hand. And all we really need is to fill in some gaps. But thankfully, we have these jokers we could use. So we are going to pass these. We got a, a flower. Now, for the two hands with flowers in 369, we only need a pair. So we really don't need that. We got the three though. And now we actually need to pass across. So we are on an obligatory pass. This could be a hand from heaven. I would risk passing a flower in this situation because we have the jokers we can use for the three. And then we could even use one of these jokers to get to a Kong for these two. So we're one away from being set and we've only had one pass. So this is when I would risk passing a flower. No keepers. We have tiles we can pass. So this is going to be first left. Three discards. At this point, we could stop the Charleston, but I have three tiles to pass. I'm gonna risk it. Even if I have to give up a tile in the next cross pass, if I get a keeper, we could recover. So we're gonna keep going with the Charleston. We got a keeper, the six. We are on an obligatory cross pass. So this is where you have to decide what can I give up that is going to do the least damage. And I think probably the six. Let's hope we can get it back. 
We didn't get any keepers, but we do have tiles to pass for last right. No keepers, and we can do a full cross pass for optional. We didn't get the six back. So we have three discards and we are one away from being set to call for each block for this hand. We can Kong here, Kong here, or here. All we need is a six or a nine or another joker, and we'll be good to go for this particular hand. This would be the fourth hand down under three, six, nine, three discards. I would probably discard the, the dragon first, since we're not using it and dragons are valuable. I would discard that first and then get rid of these. Let me know if you would have stopped the Charleston with those three discards. Either way, we would have had three discards unless someone did an optional cross. We still would have had three discards because I don't think any of our tiles were in the Charleston. So I think the result is about the same. This is going to be interesting. No multiples, all singles. We have one wind, one dragon, one, three, five, six, one, two, seven, eight, one, six. I do see a lot of one, two, three, four, five, one, three, five. I'm thinking maybe little odds. We do have all the ones. Maybe we could play like numbers with a wind. Let's keep little odds. Little numbers, one through five, maybe like numbers. I would not pass this, like numbers. For 2019, like numbers are all over this card, so I would not pass that. I would risk passing consecutive. This is a pretty risky pass, but not as risky as passing like numbers. So we're focusing on the odds category or consecutive run. I'm not even gonna look at the card to figure out what hand I'm playing because it is in vain. We have so many discards, it, it would not matter if you pick a hand, it, it will change, I guarantee it. So if you just gather tiles for the category, you'll save time and anxiety by trying to pick a hand. So we're gonna play either odds or consecutive run, or maybe even like numbers. So right now we're straddling three categories. We've got our first multiple here, the three. We do have a nine and a south. We have one tile to pass. Now, if we focus on odds, we could do maybe the first hand under odds, one, three, five, seven, nine. We'd have to throw away all these and these. I think it might be better to give up the nine and stick with the little numbers. If you look at the odd category, there are two hands that use all one, three, five, seven, nine tiles. The first one and the last one. The first one you can do with one suit or two, and then the last one is two suits. So really we could keep the nine and maybe play the very first hand. I don't think this dragon is going to be very helpful. We could maybe do north and south with ones, but our ones are not paired up. I think we should give up the wins. We might be able to use this with like numbers. So I think at this point, we're better off going with odds than consecutive run. So let's give up a two. We're keeping the ones. 
and then sticking with odds. One is odds, so it works. Let's discard these. We have a west, a five, and a seven. Now these are odds. We have one, three, five, nine, one, seven, one, five. One, three, five. There is a one, three, five with like numbers. The fifth hand down, one, three, five with like numbers. One, three, five, Kongs. I think maybe we could give up that five. The dragon, we might be able to use. And I try not to pass dragons because there are only three of them and they're valuable. So at this point, we could leave our options open and keep the nine. Let's break the winds up a little bit and pass these three. Odds with a west. We got a flower. Let's see if we can. Oh, we got a green dragon. Oh, look at that. We have two tiles to pass. We need to whittle down because we're going to first left. I would not stop the Charleston here. We don't even know what hand we're playing. I would whittle down. So we could play maybe the fifth hand down. We could maybe play like numbers with dragons. We really don't need this at all. But I don't pass that. I think we could give up the nine. We don't want to pass that. Flowers are in like, I don't know, 23% of the hands or something like that. We got a white dragon. Really, like numbers with threes would be better than like numbers with fives. Because that's where our multiple is. We have to make a choice. I really don't like passing dragons. We have two tiles to pass. We're on our cross pass. We went second left just now. So we could do one, three, five with Kongs of ones. Or we could do... like numbers with threes. We have five tiles, like numbers with threes, and we have seven towards the little odd hand with like number Kongs. Let's give up the green dragon. Here we go. Another flower. We need to reassess. Look at all that. Two flowers. Let's look at the hands with flowers. There's one under odds third one down kong of flowers one three five let's leverage we'll leverage that pair and discard these three we could still play the fifth hand down we got a seven four eight these can be passed optional cross no keepers. So we have four discards. We're between hands. We really have six discards because we either need to get rid of the flowers or the ones. Since this is a multiple, I would probably play one, three, five with flowers, third hand down, if I had to pick a hand. But I think what I would do here. Let's see, one, three. I don't think we could really use the dragon at all. I think I would just keep the odds and discard in this order. If you're not gonna use dragons, discard them soon, unless you pair up and hold them for joker bait. There's a link below the video to some videos on joker bait if you wanna know more about that. It's a way to get jokers and exposures if you have pairs that you don't need. So I think since it's a single, I would just get rid of it. Same with wins. I try to discard those early on and a lot of people do that as well. If they're not using wins, you see them go down right away. So one, three, five, little odds. 
it's going to be a long road to haul this with this one, but there are no gaps with either hand, actually. So probably I would discard in that order. Hold these for an option. So this convention would be Kong, Kong, Pair, Kong. One more. This will be a fun one too. No multiples, all singles. So let's see if we can find the tiles for a category where we use as many as possible. The greatest pattern here that I see are Winds and Dragons. Winds and Dragons. Winds and Dragons with number tiles, there are only two and they're like numbers. We do have two sevens. We'd have to lose the, the dragons and the west, so we'd only have three tiles. Not good. What about a year hand with ones and nines? There's even news with a year hand. Let's hold these, maybe work on a year hand. We might even be able to play the big year hand. Let's give those up and play the year hand. Since we're holding ones and nines, let's see if we can keep some odds. Because ones and nines in the year category, if you fill in, you can switch to odds. So we have one, five, one, seven, nine, seven. So let's give up the seven bam. This way we can use all of these and maybe those if we go to odds. So let's pass these. Dragon. And we got a nine. Three tiles to pass. I think we should play the big year hand. 2019 and three suits. This is not a bad pass, but I'd like to break up the wins so that we don't pass two wins together. Let's pass a seven and a three. Seven, three, seven, three. I think that's safe. Oh, east, south. Good thing I got rid of a wind. Let's pass east, three, five. We're looking for dragons. Ones, nines, and twos. We need twos. Oh, I'm going to pull this back. We have a pair of south. We need to break that up. I don't want to get stuck with a pair. If we get keepers, we would have to pass a pair. We got like numbers, which I would not pass. Let's pass these three. We got a keeper. Keeper. These need to all be singles for the 2019. So here we have year tiles based on the last hand on the card under singles and pairs. We have three tiles to pass for the cross pass. We got a keeper and two tiles for my last right. We're going to pass blind. No keeper. We already have a one. So we can pass two for optional cross. Two discards. We're two away from the biggest hand on the card. We need a two dot, two crack, white dragon, two dot, white dragon. So we need twos and whites. 
That's a pretty hand, 75 points. Since we play with a card with prescribed hands in categories, if you play at the category level for as long as possible, you have the greatest flexibility. You really don't even have to look at the hands. Just gather tiles for your chosen category. I think the discards were pretty good with the exception of the second Charleston modeling exercise. We had six discards, but no gaps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.